Hey, travel buddies! Today we're heading to Hakone, the famed hot spring town. We've allocated two days for this adventure, but with half of today being eaten up by travel, we essentially have a day and a half to soak in all that Hakone has to offer. On our to-do list, experiencing the serenity of a traditional yokan, indulging in multi-course kaiseki feasts, unwinding in so soothing hot spring baths, exploring using five unique modes of transportation, checking out as many main attractions as we can. Can we take everything off in a day and a half? Stay tuned to find out. We are leaving Tokyo today and heading to Hakone, 84 kilometers away from Tokyo. Our train departs at 22.10, so we need to pack quickly. It's now 9.30 and we've arrived at the train platform located in the same building as Shinjuku train station. There won't be any time to buy tickets on the day of departure, so we recommend purchasing them a day in advance or even earlier. 22.10, we're boarding the train. The train we're on is called the Romance Car, and it will take us directly to Hakone Umoto station. It will be nearly two hours on the train. 22.12, arrived at Hakone Umoto station. The first thing we should do after arriving at a place is to go to our hotel and stow away all the luggage. However, there is no Uber in Hakone. We saw very few large taxis here, mostly small ones. We were unsure how to fit the suitcases onto the bus, so the only option available is to walk to the hotel. It's not far, only 1000 meters away. We're fortunate that Hakone is such a small town. It's 12 p.m. To prepare Yin and me for the one kilometer walk with our luggage, we decided to have lunch first. The restaurant is just 100 meters away from the train station. We ordered tempura seafood rice and noodle. After an hour, now we are filled with energy, it's time to walk. Even though the street scene is beautiful, all we can see is the never-ending slope in front of us. Ying asked me numerous times, how far away are we now? We can't take all the suitcases in one go, so we need two trips. Oh, finally here, thank God took us over an hour with the suitcases. Note to self for next time, travel light. Check-in time is strictly at 3 p.m., so we'll wait in the lobby. Already, we're immersed in the tranquil atmosphere of this yokan, known as Hakone Pax Ushino. Our reservation is for three adults, two nights, including two days of breakfast and dinners at a total cost of $660. We booked the Japanese tatami mat room at the Yokan. Yokans were initially established during the Edo period to provide lodging for travelers along the highways that connected different regions of Japan. These traditional inns have gained renown for their exceptional hospitality and the provision of a more intimate laid-back atmosphere. There is often an adjacent smaller sitting room separated from the main room by sliding doors. This area is typically carpeted with a western-style table set or a lounge. The hotel is located right on the Tsukumo River, so we paid more to get this river view room. Unique features of Yokens include a low table at the center of the room, foot and beds, which are kept in the closet during the day to be set out in the evening and put away again in the morning. Togonoma, a small raised alcove with a small painting or scroll, 
its decorations are frequently changed to reflect the season. Traditionally, the most important person in the room sits in front of the togonoma. Bath towers and yukata are provided as well. Yukata is the bathing clothes. It can be worn during your entire stay at the yokan, including to meals, to the hot spring bath, and to bed. Normally, yokan bathroom has a western toilet, a Japanese bath, and a sink. The yokan style in Japan is a masterclass in space optimization. Utilizing futons instead of western beds not only conserves space, but maintains a level of comfort, showcasing a harmonious blend of tradition and practicality in a compact yet functional setting. Stay in a yokin. Tick. It's currently 4 p.m. With dinner scheduled three hours from now, Mom decides to take a break, while Yin and I seize the opportunity to explore the nearby area. Our travel philosophy is simple. We won't waste a single moment on activities we can easily enjoy back home. <laughs> Hakone covers an area of less than 100 square meters and has almost 200 hotels. The small town is not modern at all, which is the reason why modern people swarm in. Harmony is created with nature. A sense of tranquility is promoted and a rustic atmosphere is surrounding us. Attraction 1 Songjin Temple Only a few hundred meters away from the hotel, free entry, we are surrounded by timeless classics. It's like another dimension, and it makes me feel so peaceful. Wow. It's not a very famous attraction, but I'm sure you will take some unique pictures here in a kimono. First attraction ticked off, walking towards the Hakone Yumado station area. People also call it the entrance of Hakone. It's a shopping area with a selection of unique Hakone souvenirs. There are over 30 shops there. A quarter past five, information center near the train station. We are trying to plan the road for tomorrow. Five thirty p.m. Attraction two, Archisai Bridge, over Haya River. Archisai means hydrangea in English. In June and July, you can see hydrangea plants grow abundantly here. Did I see this bike on a postcard before? I feel I'm in a movie, so unreal, but also real. Second attraction ticked off. 6 p.m. Walking back. We don't want to be late for our dinner. 7 p.m. We're going to experience the traditional Japanese cuisine, kaiseki. It is an elaborate meal featuring seasonal and local foods presented in artistic and delicious ways. The term kaiseki originally referred to a meal served to guests during a tea ceremony. Today, kaiseki is considered the pinnacle of Japanese cuisine and is characterized by its attention to detail 
seasonality and balance of flavors. The menu is composed of a series of small dishes, each showcasing a different technique or ingredient. The courses are served in a specific order and are designed to be enjoyed slowly and deliberately. Our seasonal appetizer is tofu with sea urchin, strawberry cream, cheese potato, pickled bracken in soy sauce, simmered red konyaku, then sashimi of tuna, sea bream and squid, then small appetizer of shrimp and cabbage fish cake, boiled red blossoms in bamboo shoes with sesame paste, flying fish roll and roasted egg. Then steamed dish, which is a steamed egg custard with pork and rice, yuzu pepper sauce. The grilled dish, which is a grilled Spanish mackerel, simmered mac and ginger chili pepper, sweetened kumquat and ginger. Next course is called cooking various things in a pot, in the chicken broth. Boiled rice, miso soup with Japanese pickles. Lastly, pudding with milk, seasonal fruits, soybean flour flavored, and green tea. Five cooking methods are involved. One of the most important aspects of kasiki is balance. The meal is carefully crafted to balance flavors, textures, and colors, creating a harmonious dining experience. Kaisiki in Pax Yoshino is quite outstanding in Hakone. Initially, we thought the food served in small bowls wouldn't be sufficient for us. Now, we could barely walk. Kaisiki ticked. Before retiring for the night, it's customary to visit the onsen, a hot spring bath. The onsen facilities are located on the top floor of the east wing, with separate public rooms for females and males. Please note that the cameras are strictly prohibited. It's important to follow the tradition of sitting in front of the taps and thoroughly showering yourself to ensure you don't contaminate the pristine natural spring water. Please remember, you can't wear anything in the bath. The onsen on the screen is the exact one we visited. The water temperature is around 41 degrees Celsius. It takes a moment to adjust, but then it's just pure relaxation. Soaking in an onsen, tick. Following onsen, a wonderful sleep. I will see you tomorrow.